What's going on, y'all? We are back. The Whip Show on 106.1 FM, WAKT, Toledo's community radio station. And I told y'all already, it's the TNA takeover of The Whip Show. Now, I had to bring my guy in with me, the professor for this one, because we got one of the biggest stars of professional wrestling on the table today, man. This man is a former NFL player. This man is a former TNA world champion, and I don't even like saying former, but he is also just recognized as number 15 on the PWI 500. Shout out to the guy, Moose. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up, man? My bro. Thanks for having me on your show, on your podcast. Thank you very much for doing the show, man. Now, you got a lot coming up, man. You're always working hard. I know you guys doing media out there right now in San Antonio, and it's been back-to-back, -back, huh? Yeah, I've been here since Monday. It's been a, a long three days, but we're wrapping it up, and on Friday's right around the corner, so. That's what I want to get into real quick, man, because this Friday, you got Victory Road, September 13th, right there in San Antonio, and you going against Nick Nemeth. It's time to get that world heavyweight title back, man. How do you feel about checking in and getting your rematch clause in place? I feel good, man. I'm very confident going in this match. Um, yeah, as good as Nick is, the truth is, and everybody knows I beat him in the past um, to retain my TNA World Championship in Rebellion. So um, I feel like he's the underdog, even though he's the world champion at the moment. So I feel, I feel very confident. And um, let's, we'll see what happens Friday night. Let's get it, man. Now, something else was going on, man. Like, with this resurgence of TNA, and I don't even want to call it a resurgence because right now TNA is off the board. We just talked about San Antonio. You guys have been selling out everywhere. All over, mm -hmm. all over the world, man. But you've been in there in the trenches for a minute. How does it feel to see TNA boom like this in the last couple of years, really taking it to the next level? Um, I'm happy about it. I mean, I've been here from the lows when we was in the basement. Oh, man, now we're on our way to the attic, you know. So um, but I, I feel happy. But like I said, and I've said it before in the past, like um, it's hope for guys from guys like Nick Nemeth coming in and, bringing some of his fans from um, WWE with him and um, guys like the Hardy brothers coming in and the, the Joel Henry, quote unquote, being an overnight sensation and bringing some of his fans. Even though I, I don't I don't believe he's an overnight sensation because I know the work he's put in throughout his career to get to the position he is. But yeah, it's been a, a all out effort from everybody on the roster doing their thing to, to get us a, in this position that we're here now. So we're just going to keep do what we've been doing for the past, at least since I've been here for eight years and balling out. For sure, man, for sure. Now, speaking of balling out, man, not only do you guys got San Antonio coming up, TNA Victory Road, I'm from the Midwest area, and y'all mm -hmm. got a big show coming up, Bound for Glory in Wayne State. Y'all on the road to Bound for Glory. And my partner yeah. over here, He's actually pretty much runs Wayne State down there, which is where it's going to be at the Wayne State Fieldhouse. And he want to talk to you about a couple of things right quick. Man, yeah. hey, Moose, man, first of all, thank you. I got a, I got my Nigerian flag. You're Nigerian, too. Oh, God, That's man. awesome. I'm, I'm, man, also, I'm a former offensive lineman as well. And I just wanted to know, man, you know, you, your time in the NFL, you know, being able to block for Vic, block for, Matt Ryan, even you had a chance to, you know, a cup of coffee with Tom Brady, man. What things have you learned from being an offensive lineman that has carried over to what you do now? I mean, the championship mindset. How do you know what have you learned from just being a lineman? Because that's I, 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 I wouldn't say being teams. a lineman. I, I won't say being a lineman per se this than just playing in the NFL. Um just um helping me create and achieve discipline, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's the biggest thing that I took from my career in the NFL and to pro wrestling is um, having discipline with my training regimen or my um, diet regimen 
uh, with my learning um, pro wrestling regimen. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what uh, my time in pro and football and all three levels of football that I played helped me with. You know, um, so that's yeah. a big thing is my discipline. Discipline, man. That's the magic word, man. I hey, we talk about it now. We talk about it. I coach youth sports as well. So yeah, that's the that's the key to everything in life, right? Yeah. Now, I'm glad you brought that up, man. You talk about discipline. Man. Now, me and Kanye were just talking before you came in because both of us did play football. And you came in as a, the lineman body. But you really have shifted, even transitioned your body to be even better, man. What was the mind state behind that? What made you say, you know what? I'm already moose. I'm already killing them in the game. But I really want to show the world what I could do. Oh, it was, it was, for me, it was surrounding myself around people um, who would push me to the to the right direction. And um and I'm not saying in the past I wasn't surrounded by, I, I wasn't surrounded by those kind of people, but it was just getting um more people who could get me to the position where I am now. And um great thing I met a guy named AJ Sims. Um and he helped me with my diet and my focus and the nutrition side and the the training side. And that's what got me to that and my psychotic um brain when it comes to setting goals um uh, and that's what got me to the way i look now man. well you look amazing man keep doing what you're it. doing man and like i say it's always a blessing to see guys like us doing their thing in this professional world uh kanye was you about to jump in he's our guy I, i'm a moose guy all the day man. Pre appreciate it yeah. now you talked about joe hendry and people thinking it's an overnight success man but you guys have had some battles and you guys have really worked, man. But he's also part of this whole crossover thing, man. And you may mention that you want to step into that crossover as well, kind of cross the line, man. Should we be looking for you soon too? Because we know Jordan Grace um, and so many more people, Hammerstone and other guys have done that also. Um, I, My focus, honestly, is not the crossover. Like I've always had the attitude where if it happens, then, um, good luck for the person who I got to um, go against. But my focus, honestly, is being a four-time TNA world champion. Um, um, that's where 100% of my focus is. Um, I, and don't get me wrong. I, I'm, I'm very happy that we have the relationship we have in WWE, but all those dream matches, that's out of my control. I can only control what I can control, and that's whoever I wrestle. And as of right now, I get to wrestle Nick Nemeth um, for the chance of being a four-time TNA World Champion, which ties me at number two with Bobby Lashley um, in the history books in TNA. So that's where my focus is. And so I can answer any questions about NXT and what matchups, because, I mean, I don't control that, you know. You heard that, Nick Nemeth. The man said he's ready. He wants the world title. He's coming back for it. He's about to be the champion. Y'all heard him, man. Discipline and focus, man, to be the champ. That's who it, Moose is. He's a champion. I love to hear that, man. Well, Moose, we don't want to keep you too much long because I know you got to get locked in. You got so much going on. Yay, I got one last question for him. But before I do, you want to hit him with anything right quick? Oh, man, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to Friday night. I'm actually looking forward to seeing you at Bound for Glory. I we'll hope to meet yeah. you in person. It's a big day for us at Wayne State. It's a homecoming. Um, we got a football team. We got a homecoming game that day at the Sweet. stadium right across the street from the field hall. So we, I will be tailgating and going to the game and coming to the TNA event. So, hey, man, you know, if you want to come and chop it up with the football team, man, we would be more than willing to help you and uh, have you. But, man. Oh, if we could, if we could set that up, I will be more than happy to. To, to come to the football game. I don't know if it's the same day as our um, – Yeah, it's the same. Up. It's that afternoon. It's at 1, and then your event is at night. So I'm going to be at 1. Uh, like, so maybe it's one of those things like we come to – I come to practice the next day. But it will be definitely be hard to come to the game the day of our pay-per-view because there's a lot that goes on on, yeah, on our end of things. But, yeah, but the practice but the night before, yeah, for sure, I'll be able to swing through and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Well, Moose, before we get out of here, it is one segment that we do, man. And this is where we flip it a little bit. And okay. this is called the mark out moment. 
Now, when I say that, I'm not saying you're out there all screaming like, oh, my God, I can't believe uh, this happened like a fan. But when I say mark out moment, I'm saying that one moment that you have where you're like, even though you are Moose, former NFL player, TNA world champion, you're like, damn, I can't believe I'm in this moment. Or somebody knows that who I am. Like, I feel really good in this space. Have you ever had that where you met somebody or they knew who you were or you were just like, I'm it right now? Uh, I, my mind don't work that way. So, um, as, as much as I can answer that question, I'm very humble. So, um, a lot of times I don't react that way about anything. I'm real low key too. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell I'm, I'm very low key, um, outside of my TV character. So, um, I know I have moments where I've met people and I was like, man, I'm actually, that's pretty cool. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm meeting this guy. That's awesome. But for as somebody meeting me, I've never really thought that way, you know. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So y'all heard that when y'all meet Moose, he's a great guy. He's calm. You can come say what up. Yeah. So check him out, man. One hundred, man. That's that's what I, I take to man. We love that, man. Well, once again, guys, Moose. First of all, thank you for coming on the show again. Listen, y'all. TNA September thirteenth, fourteenth, Victory Road. Also, the TNA TV tapers after that. Then it gets started. The road to Bound for Glory right in Detroit at the Wayne State University Fieldhouse. We cannot wait for y'all to come be a part of that, man. For myself, for the professor, and Moose, once again, thank you. Stay right here locked in. The 106.1 FM WAKT Toledo's community radio station, The Whip Show. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Thank you much. Thank you.